all right folks that was my first go at installing cush core um did the front wheel first it's on a set of industry 9 enduro 305s um running 2.5 acid guys up front um overall pretty simple install nothing really uh too dramatic you of course you know it's always pain in the butt to seat tires and all that good stuff so um that's really it i did get the big mega cush core tool um so that helped i guess a little bit um in case anyone's wondering why i bought a cush core basically it's because it was labor day sale i went to buy a bike part on sale me wanting stuff hey that was a good match so i figured what the heck i try it out it was a deal you get the cush core the complete kit the tool and a color choice of valve stems for like 149 bucks or 169 bucks something like that anyway um i did go with the blue oh, oh, oh. A little tool. um although my rims are actually turquoise the blue actually turned out i think pretty good um it's a very close match so can't really complain looks good um i'll still have to do the back tire and i'll let you know how it goes oh and for the sealant i use All right, folks, so I'm done with the uh, back wheel now, or the rear wheel. Um, gave me a little more problems in the front. But what I ended up doing, and it worked really, really well, and huh, a lot less effort, wish I would have looked it up before. So basically, I used this bucket. I know the video show. So what I did was I put this on there, like yay. And then with the tool, I pushed the bead all the way down and then just popped it in. It took me literally three minutes once I started doing this. Hi. Huh. Hi. All right. So that's the Kush Gorn install. Need to inflate, add sealant, and we'll go from there.